Hello and welcome to Learn Autodesk Fusion. This is a 10 part video series for beginners. In this video series, it will take you from a complete beginner to building your first 3D models. In this first video, we're gonna be learning 2D sketches, extrude and also fillets. And if you haven't heard of these before, then don't worry, I'm gonna be explaining and demonstrating these throughout this video. And we're gonna be creating a simple smartphone model. Okay, so I'm gonna be teaching these tutorials in the default settings. So we're going to reset these back to defaults. And to do that, you go to the circular icon in the top right hand corner. This will either be your initials or your profile picture. And then you click on that and you click on preferences. And then inside preferences, you go to the restore defaults button. Click on OK here and then press apply and then press OK. And I'm going to be teaching these tutorials in millimeters. So if you come over here to what Fusion calls the browser, and drop this down for the document settings, this will bring up a box where we can choose the units of measurements that we'd like to use. So you can see here that you can also change this to inches if you feel more comfortable with inches. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna stick with millimeters. And now we have our units, I want to talk you through how saving works in Fusion. So Fusion is a cloud-based software and your designs will first of all get saved to the cloud. So first, we need to come over here and click on data panel. And then we click on the new projects button and we're just going to keep this simple and call this smartphone. Now we double click on it and then we go inside the folder. So the way Fusion works is that you build everything as components and then they come together as an assembly. But don't worry about this too much for now. We'll go into more detail on that in a future video. So click on new component and we want to call this component smartphone. Then we click on OK. And now we can see that our component is in the browser. We haven't actually saved our product yet because you can still see here that it still says untitled. So I'm gonna click on the save button and rename this as smartphone. And then I'm gonna click on the save button. And you can see that it renames it up here and also renames these. So. We want to make sure that we're building inside this active component. And the first thing that we want to do is we want to draw a sketch. So I'm going to click on the create sketch up here. Then this brings up the planes and we can choose which plane we want to sketch on. So what is a plane you may be asking? Well, I don't want to get into too much technical detail for the first tutorial, but a plane is essentially a flat surface where you're able to draw 2D sketches. And for this tutorial, we're going to be sketching on what's known as the XY plane, which is highlighted in blue for this screenshot. And later on in the series, we'll go into this in more detail and how these are working. But for now, I just want to quickly get you started on making your first 3D model. And then this rotates the view to show the plane that we're drawing on. And for this model, we want to create a rectangle. So I'm going to click on this create here and I'm going to click on rectangle and then I'll click on this center rectangle. For this model, we want to use a center rectangle. Now, there's many ways we can do this, but it's good practice to draw your model starting from the center point if you can. Clicking on the middle center point constrains your model and now we can type in the dimensions. And just a quick note here, the dimensions already selected so you don't need to try and click on it. It's already selected and you can just type in the dimensions that you want. So this smartphone is going to be 145 millimeters long and then we can zoom out using the middle mouse scroll wheel. Then if you press the tab button on your keyboard, it moves you down to select the width. So the width is going to be 70 millimeters. And you can see that it's drawn the rectangle to the size that we want it now. So once I've clicked, this confirms that the drawing has been defined. And as you can see here, it wants me to draw another rectangle, but we don't want to do this now, so we press the escape key. Just a quick note here, what happens if you've drawn something by accident and you want to delete it? Well, what you can do is click down the left hand mouse button, draw around it, and then hit the backspace on your keyboard. So after this, we've still got this sketch palette open, so what you want to do is you want to click on finish sketch and confirm that. Now you can see that we've drawn our rectangle, but it's actually still looking at it from the top down. So we need to rotate our view. To do this, we click the home button in the top right hand corner. Next up, we want to do an extrude. To do this, first of all, we need to click the extrude feature here. And this allows us to create a body from this sketch and it will give us our three dimensions for our smartphone. So the average smartphone is around nine millimeters. So we want to type in here around nine millimeters. Well, actually this looks quite thick. So let's do a slimmer smartphone let's say around seven millimeters. Yeah, this looks good. 
So now we click OK. So now you can see we've drawn our rectangle and we've extruded it out, which has created this body. And we can see this in this browser over here. So the body here is body one. And then the sketch we've drawn is here. So you can see the sketch, this is the sketch. And every time you create a body from a sketch, it makes the sketch invisible. And we can also see down here in our timeline what we've drawn. So this is actually really useful. If you ever make any mistakes or want to go backwards, then you can just drag this timeline backwards or forwards. And it's basically a history of the design at the bottom here. So now what we want to do is we want to add the fillets. And fillets are basically like curved edges to the object. So I click on the fillet and then I want to click on all of the sides. So I click here and then here and basically what I want to do is create fillets for all of the sides. So I'm just going to do it like this. And if you want to rotate your view, depending on the settings that you've got, what you can do is hold down shift on your keyboard and then click your middle mouse wheel and that will allow you to freely rotate your model. And you can also either use the buttons on the bottom or your mouse's scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to carry on clicking until I've got all of the sides. And then we want to type in our dimension. So let's try one millimetre. Uh, maybe a bit more. Let's say two millimetres. And then this adds the fillets to our smartphone. So press OK. OK, looking good. Now we've got our curves on our smartphone. So what we want to do now is add the camera to the back. So if we rotate our view, so we're looking at the bottom, then what we can do is add a sketch to this body. So we click on it, and then we click on Add Sketch. And as you can see, this rotates our view. But it's actually put it upside down here, because you can see here, it says bottom, and that's upside down. So we want to rotate our view until we're looking at it the right way round. Then we're just going to add something simple, like a simple camera bump. So we click on Center Diameter Circle. So I'm just going to draw, uh, let's say, around 10 millimeters here. So type 10 millimeters into the dimensions box and then hit Enter on the keyboard. And we can actually use dimensions to define where the sketch is. So I click on the Sketch Dimension button. So I'm clicking the center point of the circle and then the top edge of the smartphone. to create a dimension between the two points. So let's put around 10 millimeters away from this edge and then also put 10 millimeters on this side as well. And you need to click to choose a place where you'd like to put the dimension before you can start typing it in. And then we click finish sketch. Then what we can do is extrude the camera bump and we'll be using the same technique. So we click extrude and let's say around two millimeters maybe. Yeah, two millimeters looks good. And then we press enter and that draws our camera bump. So now the final thing that I want to teach you in this tutorial is how to create patterns. So you know with some smartphones, you actually have multiple cameras. You could just draw them one by one, but instead of doing that, if we click on create and then we click on pattern here, for this, we're going to create a rectangular pattern. So you can see here that it's asking which objects we want to select. And this is actually going to select the whole thing. But we don't want to make a pattern of the whole thing. So if we come over here to bodies and we drop this down and we choose feature. Then we just select the camera bump only. And then once we've got this selected, it's asking us for the axis. So for this, it's basically the direction that we want the pattern to repeat itself in. For this one, we want to click on the x-axis, which is the red one. And we can drag this out, as you can see. And then this has created the pattern for our camera bump. So I think around 25 millimeters would be good for this one. And as you can see, this one's actually created two axes where it's drawing them from. So axis one needs to be one. So we're repeating ourselves in only one direction. And then axis two is three. So once we've got that, we just need to scroll down and click OK. And this adds the pattern to our smartphone. And what we can do now is just finish that off with fillets. So we can fillet those two and give them a bit of a bump. Uh, 
Not too much though, maybe around 0.3 millimeters. Yeah, something like that. And this again, will just add a nice fillet to those camera bumps. And then once it's done, what we want to do is click on the save button. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, then please do hit that like button and also subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.